So we have a GE dishwasher, no power to the control. So we're gonna check our power supply. Those are all quarter, quarter inch uh, sockets for a nut driver. And there's a good chance that your power is gonna be fine, but you still wanna verify that nothing has come loose. Also, this dishwasher was never installed with a cord restraint, which is something that holds the power cord in place. It is supposed to be there. So I like to disconnect that. It's like a hard disconnect. Give it about uh, five minutes or so, then plug it back in and check your dishwasher. I've had many calls and that's all it was. So always do that. Give it about five minutes though. And then go back up and press power, see if you have any display. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. In this case, nothing. And power is good. Sometimes you do have a bad display as well. And you can check for power from the board going to the display. But way simpler what I'm going to show you how to do. So we're going to remove the board. That was another hard reset, but nothing worked. Yeah, I was double checking connections and sometimes they come loose and verifying power again. And you always want to make sure those wing nuts or wire nuts are always snug. I've seen them where they were never actually installed properly. So power is good. good. No, it's still on. It's still on. Yeah, still live. There you go. You always want to be careful when it comes to electricity. Now we're going to remove the board. Connect to connectors. Guys, just double check, make sure that the power is indeed off.
So the board is out now. And what we're looking for... Anything that's burnt. In this case, that little red right next to the white relay. That red guy, yep. It's got a white dot on it. That's it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a bypass. Now this is temporarily, and you're gonna get a alligator clip. Now, I recommend you wrap the alligator clip in electrical tape, and that will protect any, any electrical shortage if something were to happen, if it slips off the contacts. And if it falls on the board while power is on, it's not going to do or cause further damage. So just wrap the exterior off the alligator clips or clip and just make sure it's totally wrapped just in case. Here we go. So all we're doing is bridging the two ends or two points on the fuse. And because the fuse is broken, so we're going to basically bridge it. Just make sure that you're bridging the correct one. Can you turn power on for me real quick? Uh, now we're checking for power. You can also solder that fuse. I will have a video on that as well. All right. Thanks for watching. And that's just a bypass, just to verify that the board is bad. Now, sometimes the motor could be bad as well. That can right, cause you can turn it off. to go. So use that bypass to verify that everything is working before you replace the board. You can actually initiate a wash just to make sure that it is good.